Okay, here are the vowels in the standard American accent, and it is on page 14 if you would like to follow along. We're gonna start with a, ah, as in cat. So lower your jaw and move your tongue forward, lower teeth, mouth is fairly open with a slight smile. Cat, back, sat, that, and. The next one is eh, as in let. It's a short E, eh. More closed mouth, shorter form of ah, uh, ah. Uh. Tongue is up and back and forward. Eh, eh, let, egg, get, when, pen. Next one is I, as in it, it's a short I. Back of the tongue touches the upper back teeth, forward, forward and up, it give with the V, if, this, and I always go him. Good, next one, long E, two E's, E, E, as in eat. Tense the back sides of your tongue, raise them to the upper back teeth. Tip of the tongue is down, touching the back side of the lower teeth. Your lips are in a slight smile, this sound is longer in the standard American than in other languages. So it's a double E, E, eat, T, key, team, two E's now, baby, and please with a Z, please. Great. Next one, this is a, this one is a little tough, ah, as in on, drop your jaw lower for the vowel than in the others. Press the back of the tongue down. The front of your tongue is forward, touching your lower teeth. Your lips are relaxed. Ah, on, box, what, lot, car. And we're gonna find out the R comes back slightly. This is a little different. Round your lips, ah, as in raw. Round your lips, lower your jaw slightly. Keep your lips close to your teeth. Hold your tongue down and forward. Raw, all, that's good. Law, dog, dawn. And then if you were to do a you know, go into a New York accent or Southie Brooklyn or, you know, Boston South. You just go back all the way down and say dog, dawn. It's basically how you start to do, you know, explore an accent is uh, by doing that. But this one, you pull back just a little bit. So it's a Midwestern raw, all, law, dog, dawn. Good. Ah. <sighs> So the next one is the schwa, which is just a neutral sound that we did in the voice work, like uh, ha, ha. This one is uh, as in cup. It's a short, frequently used vowel in standard American, uh, schwa. It's upside down. Sometimes you'll see the little e, e upside down. Cup, the, love, with V, love, fun. Young, excellent. This one, you could even say, uh, like it's, uh, 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 uh. It's a uh, little two oos, two little o's with a little, uh, so it's kind of short, but the jaw is high. Your lips are slightly rounded. Keep your lips close to the teeth. The tongue is forward. Something like being punched in the stomach. It sounds in the back of the throat, like book. Remember when I have you do this, book? Good, with a D, good put with a T, should with a D, look. And we're gonna do these one more time, just all straight out. Book, good, put, should, look. Excellent. Ah, the next one is a double oo as in oo, you. This is a diphthong, which is two different vowel sounds that are kind of like formed, hooked together to form one speech sound. So your jaw is high, 
okay? Your lips are slightly rounded. Keep your lips close to your teeth. The second part of the sound you make by lowering your larynx, right? Sound is at the back of the throat. You, new, two, blue, through. Now the North Atlantic would be you, new, two, blue, through. But we are doing standard American, not North American or mid-Atlantic, which is what they talk about, mid-Atlantic, which is right in the center of the pond between now, between America and say England, right? When they say mid-Atlantic, it would be you, new, two, beauty, beautiful. So the standard American, which I'm teaching, is just kind of a flatter sound, you. One more time with this, you, new, two, blue, through, right. Whew. The next one is a diphthong. It's an I and an E, like I, E. Your, your, your tongue is actually doing this in the throat. I, E, you begin with your jaw down. The big, this, you raise your jaw, smile slightly. Tensing the back of the tongue, upper back, the sound begins with ah and moves to e, ah, e. And the tongue actually is going ah, e, kind of like that in the throat. Ah, e, lips. My, that's it. My, good. Kind. I, excellent. By, dime. Excellent, very good, very good. Second one um, is a double A and an E, long A, long E. It's a diphthong, may, A, E. It goes A, E, right? May, may. Starts with E and goes to E. So say E, 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 E. May, say, brain day gate that's a good one good this is like um like a big yell ow like it's a diphthong it starts with ah and becomes ooh ah ah ooh ah ow ow house now found with the d proud loud good and sometimes i teach it like uh somebody's like you know pinching you ah it's even that bigger ah like it's huge here get a little bit ah house that's good now found proud and loud good excellent the next diphthong okay is uh no and it's an o O becomes oo, O, 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 O. Begin with your jaw, tongue low and forward, lips are rounded. O, O. It resonates at the back of the throat. No. Think about that. No. Coat. Go. Those. So. Excellent. One more, okay, and this is three sounds, but they just call it a diphthong, all right? The O becomes O becomes E. O, O, E. O, O, E. Oil. Weird, right? Oil. Boy. Soil. Broil. Joy. Good. So you can like, you know, just use those. So I'm going to do the um, the R also. The R is red to flex back, right? So the soft putt raises and allows a clear airflow over the tongue. And this is very important in the standard American dialect. We have a very hard R, especially I'm, you know, from the Midwest. Well, I'm actually from the true West, but they call it the Midwest. So Wyoming, Colorado, um, I don't know why California does that. <laughs> I'm actually, you know, really from the West. So, um, but we have a very hard R. So the tongue, you're going to have to retrain it. It may not do this, or you just may not be pronouncing it, but the tongue actually comes back a little bit in the in the throat. Like the tongue just like retroflex, not the throat, it's the tongue. The tongue literally comes back just a little bit. 
air. And you can see this. You can actually see it on, um, in, on page 19 if you want to take a, a look at the illustration. But um, it comes back slightly. And you may not be able to do that right away. Your tongue may not do that. But you're going to have to train it. Air. Especially, like, say, if you were British. Because if you were British and doing a British accent, you don't do any R's at all. You would just drop the R and say, air, air. See, I can't even do it. Care. Yeah. You know, it's like my friend from South Africa. Yeah. He says he even goes there with no R's at all. But when he does the standard American accent, he has to bring in that hard R. So here we go. Air. Care. Fair. Hair. Wear. Share. Good. Second one is like ear. 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 Dear, tear, to eat, ear, beer, hear, rear, right? Instead of rear, rear, it actually pronounce it, right? And then the last one is a schwa, same thing. It's as in her, and it's very short, okay? Tip of the tongue is already curling up. Prepare the sound, huh, uh, like that, and then just come back with the sound, very short, her. Excellent. Search, nurse girls grammar now if you were from france or you know i don't know maybe some of the slavic countries you have a hard time saying girls all right the way that we do it so i was like you know kind of make it fun like it's a bear girls and then just go girls and maybe in the back of the throat girls really short but you're gonna have to uh drill that we're gonna do this one more time just for you her search nurse girls grammar Excellent. Take your time, do it again sometime, and you can drill these. Thank you.